It's 75 years since the end of World War II in the Pacific, but even now many Japanese see their country as a victim of the U.S. atomic attacks, while some in the region see Japan's post-war apologies as insincere, as Rupert Wingfield Hayes reports. At Tokyo's Yasukuni Shrine, the Narashino Brotherhood has come to bow to the spirits of Japan's wartime leaders. August is a busy month for these far-right nationalists. First, they try to get to Japan's parliament, but the way is blocked. So they crank up the speakers and begin shouting abuse. The Liberal Democratic Party is useless, they shout. You're idiots. With more and more of her troops landing at Shanghai, pushing on towards Nanjing. Japan committed many crimes during World War II, but by far the worst was the Nanjing Massacre. After the city fell, tens of thousands of Chinese soldiers and civilians were slaughtered. But not according to Takehiro Ezaki. First of all, the Nanjing massacre does not exist. The civilian population of the city was evacuated. If there was a massacre, where did all the dead bodies go? There is no evidence. It's all a lie. China is not the only country these groups claim has wronged Japan. Today, their target is Russia. So this is another piece of highly contested history for Japan's nationalists. Up the street just here is the Russian embassy, and they believe that at the end of World War II, Russia stole a big chunk of territory from Japan, and today they're here to demand it back. 75 years on, the wounds inflicted by World War II remain open and festering. Anger is strongest in South Korea, where Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is a figure of hate and ridicule. Last month, a Korean artist unveiled this statue of Mr. Abe prostrating himself before a young Korean woman. It symbolizes the begging for forgiveness that Japan has yet to do for the crimes it committed against thousands of Korean women. The United States, which was the occupying power in Japan, did not want to get into the history question, wanted everyone to move forward. Um, and you had, you know, millions, um, tens of millions of victims in China and Korea, uh, who ever since are saying, wait a second, wait a second, that's not okay, I'm not ready to move on. On Saturday, thousands will gather at the Yasukuni Shrine. Many will come to pray for a relative, one of the two and a half million Japanese war dead. But others will come here to pay homage to the 14 Class A war criminals who are also honored here. In Seoul and Beijing, they will see a country that still refuses to face its own past. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Tokyo.